Right, here we are at one of those Calais hypermarket cash and carry booze warehouse jobs and boy, have I got the car for the job. Let me show you what I mean. We've got storage space up here, up here and here above the driver. In the back there are two extra glove boxes and then if we slide that open we've got a cubby hole here under the floor and another one there. Then we simply fold the seats down like so and we have a cavernous boot. And I haven't finished yet because if we open the tailgate there's another overhead locker here for a further 10 kilograms of booze. So let's shop. I want um, that one, that case there. It's all terribly exciting, all this cheap booze. But you have to be careful, because if customs suspect you're bringing stuff back that's not for your own personal consumption, they'll confiscate it and your car. And they're currently confiscating 30 cars a day. So I caught up with the shop's owner and his girlfriend to talk about this. Because so, the, I was reading in the paper that if I were to put 500 bottles of gin in the car, which I'm legally allowed to do... Absolutely. Customs are so boy, you'd never get through all that. How, how, how can they say that when it was Maggie Thatcher told us to stock our larders up? I mean... With 500 bottles of gin? Yeah, but if you, if you drink a bottle of gin a day, that, that's only a year and a half supply. That's not a lot. Fizzy Liebfrau Milch. I don't think I'll be able to convince customs that's for my personal consumption. No. Other people were going berserk, perhaps because they didn't like their cars very much. Perhaps they wanted to have them squashed. Trouble is, I really am very, very fond of this car and I don't want customs to crush it, so... There we are. Saved a few quid. Well, pence. <laughs> 